Good day, grade 7 learners! Welcome to our third quarter lesson in science, specifically on physics. Our topic for today is about scalar and vector quantities. Our learning targets are differentiate scalar from vector quantities and identify quantities that are scalar or vector. So, let's begin! Before we differentiate scalar and vector quantities, let us identify first what quantity and unit are. Quantity is the amount or number of something. Examples are mass, time, temperature, velocity, and speed. Unit, on the other hand, is a particular amount of length, time, etc. that is used as a standard for measuring. Examples are gram, meter, degrees Celsius, seconds, and meter per second. Now, let's proceed to the differences between scalar and vector quantities. Scalar is the measurement of a unit strictly in magnitude alone, while vector quantity is the measurement that refers to both the magnitude of the unit and the direction of the movement that the unit has taken. The similarities between vector and scalar quantities are both quantities measure the amount of something and both expressed in magnitude. While the differences between vector and scalar, scalar measures magnitude only while vector measures magnitude accompanied with direction. So here are some examples of scalar and vector quantities. The scalar quantities which is without direction are distance, speed, energy, mass, density, time, temperature, and power. While vector quantities which are without direction are displacement, Velocity, force, weight, acceleration, momentum, pressure, and impulse. Now, let's check your understanding. Let us identify which one is a scalar or a vector quantity. 365 and 1 fourth days. What quantity is being described? 365 and 1 fourth days measures time. And time is an example of scalar quantity. For 10 kilometers northeast, this describes displacement. And a displacement is a vector quantity. 7 newtons upward. 7 newtons describes force. And force is a vector quantity. You got it correctly. How about 40 degrees Celsius? 40 degrees Celsius describes temperature. And temperature is a scalar quantity. 2 meter per second south. 2 meter per second describes velocity. And velocity is a vector quantity. Lastly, 350 watts. 350 watts describes power. And power is a scalar quantity. You all did well in identifying scalar from vector quantity. Before we end, let me share this quote from Maya Angelou. If you don't like something, change it. If you can change it, change your attitude. Thank you for watching. For more video lessons, follow the Facebook page and the YouTube channel of Exploring Physics. See you!